Um, a lot of things go into it. Um, first of all, just in the development of this figure here, there's a couple ways I draw. Um, in in uh, undergrad, I, I, I just learned drawing, um, just drawing from the model. Here's a way we were taught to draw, basically measuring angles. We're measuring relationships, taught to draw like how long is this relationship here from the tip of the elbow to the top of the shoulder? Where is an equivalent relationship? Okay, well, let's say here from this edge of the thigh to the end of the knee. So we would, you know, measure and then we would also look at the angles and we'd lay that angle down for this arm and then we'd lay this one down like that. It's a lot of math, it's a lot of drawing. But we were never taught at the Kansas City Art Institute because they, in the 70s, pretty much abandoned anatomy. Literally, literally, later on when I went on to grad school and found out from my professor there who had taught advanced anatomy at um, Harvard, there, while he was in school during the same time, the 70s, they literally threw the plaster bus the students did out the windows to just say goodbye all you old ways of learning and thinking about art. We're just going to stay in our studios now and drop acid. Literally, that was art school in the 70s. So you didn't get a whole lot of training in, in anatomy. So when I went back to grad school, I took some anatomy under this gentleman. and. Uh,